Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here. It is August 21st. It was Friday and we are on the European Dead Zone over here in Winding Cove. Zura has arrived. He's up there over on his cliff, so let's go up there and see what he has to offer. Just a quick reminder as well. Tonight, we are actually going to record The Last Word episode 117. So we're doing an evening episode around the campfire. Come check us out, twitch.tv slash Ebontis. We've got the artist Gamma Trap. He does all the art for Myland Games. Pretty amazing artist. Really nice dude. Actually lives pretty close to me. We'll have to hang out at some point. So check us out, twitch.tv slash Ebontis. It's 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check us out, but let's see what this guy has to offer. Goodbye. All right, Guardians, so of course the Exotic Engram, make sure you do purchase this one if you're still trying to build out your com your collection of exotics. And then if you do have them all and you got plenty of shards to spend like I do, you know, spend 97 shards, see what exotic you get, and see if it's got a decent stat roll on it. Remember, whatever character you're on, you're probably going to get an exotic for that character. So if you want a Warlock exotic, go to your Warlock and then go to Xur. Let's see what his inventory is this week. First one we've got is Lord of Wolves. Now, shout out to this weapon and Christopher Barrett. He's been at Bungie for 20 years, and his 20-year reward was actually a real 3D built model of this weapon. Go look it up on Twitter. It looks absolutely freaking amazing. So, gun's pretty cool, too. If you haven't seen this before, it's actually a pretty fun weapon, and I still get killed by it in Crucible every so often. The perk is Shrapnel Launcher. Fires a powerful short-range burst of solar damage. Now, technically, as I said, this classifies as a shotgun, but it is like a five burst little like uh, solar shotgun thing. And it, for one, it'll kind of kick your butt in PvP if you walk up to it. Release the Wolves is the other perk. Now you can swip, swap over to it. It's swapped to a longer but more powerful burst. It's a little harder to control. People on PC have an easier time. Console, this thing is probably not that prevalent. But if you're on PC especially, uh, switch over. I've been melted by this thing in PvP, so it is fairly pr powerful. And if you ever need like a solar, you know, burn and you need something to burn stuff down, this thing is still fairly powerful. Now for range, Xenophage is probably going to outshoot it, but this one can be actually quite a bit of fun as a shotgun. So if you don't have this, never used it before, it's not a bad little shotgun to have. Never know when certain things hit their heyday. So if you don't have it, make sure you buy it. For the hunters, we've got the young Ahamkara's spine. So again, remember Ahamkara's are dragons. So you actually got the bones on the arm. Always very cool looking. And the perk is Wish Dragon Teeth. Increases trip mine grenade duration and blast radius. So when you throw the grenade, for one, the grenade is going to last on that wall or wherever you plant it longer. And the radius of detonation is going to be bigger. Ability damage grants trip mine energy. So if you do damage with the grenade, you're going to get grenade energy back. Now, normally in PvP, you might get some of it back for a kill or something like that. But if you get a decent group of enemies in a PvE setting, you might get most of your energy back, get that grenade back even quicker. And to top that off, it's a decent one, probably more for PvP because I don't picture trip mines being a huge PvE grenade. But you've got resilience. If you're trying to get that magical six resilience in PvP, you got a 65 total stat roll and just a decent blend of stats. Nothing got trashed too hard. Recovery is a little low, but I mean, discipline being as it's related to grenade at least isn't two, it's 10. Intellect 12, strength 10, not too shabby overall. So if even if you have young Ahamkara spine sitting in the vault somewhere, see if your roll is be better than this one, because if not, just buy this one. It's going to be better in the long run. For the Titans, we have the weird, weird mask, the Eternal Warrior. Pretty straightforward perk is Resolute. Gain an overshield when activating Fist of Havoc. Now, in PvP, I know some people literally, like, keep this on their character, and then when they get ready to use their super, they'll even, like, switch over to it if they have a second. And then when you cast Fist of Havoc and you're running around trying to get all your, you know, shoulder charge kills and stuff of that nature, you're harder to kill. It's pretty straightforward. Now, the only thing about that is you only get the benefit of this exotic while your super is active. That's it. So if you're doing anything else in the game, whether switching weapons, other abilities, buffs, grenades, nothing else, it is only for Fist of Havoc. But if you are running that super, I've heard some people will literally run that super and then switch over to um, this exotic before they cast it. Say, like, say they wipe or something, go back to starting point, switch over to this one and just get more out of their super. If they die again, switch back. Depends on if you're on, you know, PC or console, because menus can definitely be slower on console. But I've heard it get used that way. I don't love this exotic because it's literally just for your uh, super and that's it. But overall, if you like Fist of Havoc, this is going to make you stronger while using it. So maybe it's one that you're going to like. Got 63 total stats. Again, pretty well rounded here. 10, 8, 14, 10, 10, and 11. Nothing actually got trashed too hard. Discipline, intellect, and strength are at least at 10. So this will bump you up a tier in each of those. So overall, if you like Fist of Havoc, this may be something you want. 
Finally, we've got the Astro Sight Verse. And this is actually one shout out to NimPlays. He's got some awesome pictures with this one. And your perk here is going to be Move to Survive. Blink further and more frequently, so your cooldown between your blink is going to be much less. Weapon readies quickly out of blink and radar remains up while blinking. So if you are a warlock who likes to blink, that's just your playstyle, that's your build, this is your guy. Um, definitely going to help you in PvP when you're moving around, do it more frequently, keep your ready up or keep your radar up and ready your weapons more frequently. Now the stats on this one are on the lower end. We got a 60 roll, uh, but we do have 14 in intellect, uh, eight in strength, but you got 15 in mobility. So, you know, if you're blinking, jumping, stuff like that, potentially the 15 mobility is kind of in the right spot for something based on blink, which is your jump. So while not the highest stat roll in the world, 14 intellect, 15 mobility, the rest isn't, there's no twos in there. So nothing got, you know, a complete beating. Um, if you enjoy blinking though, this might be one for sure. If you've never tried it out, pick this thing up, add it to your collections, try it out. See if you like how the blink, how it affects your blinking could be really cool for you warlocks out there. And that wraps it up mostly for Xur this week. As I said, it's August 21st. And that quick reminder, we are recording last word episode 117 again tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash If you guys want to follow me or just any updates, you can also find me on twitter.com slash And then right here on YouTube, you guys were amazing. We took 50,000 subs and you guys have blown past it with a few hundred more. So if you are new to the channel, hit that sub button and the alert bell. Keep my videos always coming to you related to Destiny news and other games that I cover. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like below, leave a comment and a suggestion, and have an awesome day. I'll see you soon.